Hi everyone, Amy Love here, and I'm coming to you today with another project for Angel Dream Crafts Kim on Etsy. And of course you can find the link to the shop below as well to all the other designers on the team. So be sure you go and check them out. And so I made a fabric covered box, which I have to tell you the story. I was crafting, doing some birthday crafting with my friends Kim and Mary, and I was having a bit of creator's block and I just wasn't sure what I wanted to work on. And then Kim said to me, well, what is your favorite thing to make? And my favorite thing to make is, co is fabric covered boxes. So um, that's what I did. So thank you very much for the encouragement, Kim. I needed it. And I happened to have this wooden box um, in my stash that was already painted white. And I just decided to cover it with this beautiful fabric. And now I do have a tutorial on my channel on how I cover boxes with fabric and I will link it up here in the iCards. I'll also put it in the description box if you're interested. But I covered this box with this beautiful fabric I get at Hobby Lobby. It's just one of my favorites. I love it. And I decided to use it on this box. It's so stinking cute. So, um, I'm going to take this off and I'm going to show you the bottom part first. So I did line the box and this is actually the uh, beautiful uh, piece of fabric that uh, Kim sent my last DT package in. So thank you, Kim. I did put it to good use and I just love, <laughs> I love how that looks. And in my tutorial, I show you how to do this too, if you're interested. And then I just finished it off on the inside with some beautiful, um, Chinese braid which always makes a great edging trim and Kim does have Chinese braid in several different colors it's so cute and then on the outside of the box I started first with this beautiful polka dot uh, tool trim from Angel Dream Crafts and I put that on and I thought that's pretty but it's not fluffy enough so then I went around and added some of the uh, white pleated tool trim underneath and that was just what it needed. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful fluffiness. I absolutely love that going all around the box. So super, super cute. And I did put some more Chinese braid around the edge just because it's just pretty that way, right? It's so pretty. So that is the bottom of the box. I adore it. So for the top piece, uh, I went around the edge with this beautiful lace from Angel Dream Crafts. So, so cute. And then um, on the top, uh, this trim is from Angel Dream Crafts and I just cut out the individual petals and then I glued them on top of the box. Then I made flowers on top of it. I used the uh, double polka dot tool trim for the bottom layer and then I used the uh, pink pleated tool trim. There's a lot of tool on this box, but I love it. So that's the next layer and look at how fluffy this flower is. It's just gorgeous. And then I cut this uh, rose out of one of her laces and put it in the middle. And then I put on this beautiful bling piece from Angel Dream Crafts. It's just gorgeous. Then I made this beautiful lace bow and I dangled um, out of it these beautiful little pearl um, strands from angel dream crafts and they're my favorite because they're the small ones so they hang so much nicer instead of sticking straight out like the large ones tend to do so i love this pearl trim for that reason and then uh, these bling bows which i just did do a project with another one of these because i'm loving these right now they're my favorite thing and they have these bling dangles even these are super super cute super cute and then on the top of the petals, I added these beautiful bling from Angel Dream Crafts. She has these, I forget how many come in a set, but they're like individual stones and they're just gorgeous. Love them so much. And so the inside of the box, I just covered with some uh, rosette fabric that I had in my stash. And there it is in all its cuteness. Isn't that an adorable, adorable box? Um, this box probably will be listed in my Etsy shop. So there is a link to my Etsy store below. Uh, but then again, it is awfully cute. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure yet. 
We'll see. But I'd love to know what you think about it. So please leave me a comment and leave me a thumbs up. And uh, be sure and go follow the links below to Kim's Etsy store and my Etsy store and all the designers on the team. And I hope you're all doing well. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye, everybody.